Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. One of life's major decisions is whether to move to a new locale. Well, the following questions may help you make that decision more wisely. Number one, in the new locale, the weather may be different. Is that, for you, a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? You should probably want to stop the video and write down your answers to these and then start it again. By the way, I should mention that for many people, weather is an especially important factor because it affects you every day, especially so if you're outdoorsy or you're subject to seasonal affective disorder. Question two, in the new locale, you'll have more friends or fewer friends and family. Consider not just local ones, but those that you'd be willing to travel to see. So in other words, if you're moving to a place that's a two hour drive, it's different than when you go going to some place where it's gonna be a five hour plane ride. So in any case, I'll repeat it. Is the new lo in the new locale, you're going to have more friends or fewer friends and family. Consider not just local ones, but those you'd be willing to travel to see. Is that a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? Question three. In the new locale, you may have greater opportunity or less opportunity to meet new people. New people. Is that for you a, a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus or a big minus. Four, in the new locale, you'll have gotten away from any person or reputation in your professional or personal life that you'd like to shed. Is that for you a, a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus or a big minus? Question five, in the new locale, especially after the COVID economic shutdown fades, there may be a big difference in the amount of vehicle traffic. Is that a big plus? A modest plus, meaning that, meaning the new locale's traffic situation. A big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus. Question six. In the new locale, there may be cultural differences, for example, regarding politics, sports, music, intellectuality, and so on. Is that, for you, a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? In the new locale, this is question seven. In the new locale, there may be a difference in the cost of living, especially housing and higher education. For you, is that a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? Question eight. In the new locale, there may be a difference in the ease of finding good work. Is that a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus in your situation? Question nine. Moving to a new locale may have a psychological effect on you. Is that effect likely to be for you a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? Question 10. In the new locale, health factors may be different. For example, air quality and the normative eating, drinking, and smoking habits. Is that for you a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? Question 11. The new locale may have a difference in safety and crime. For you, is that a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? And finally, question 12. In the new locale, spiritual or religious norms may be different. Is that for you a big plus, a modest plus, a modest minus, or a big minus? Now, all that rationality is well and good. But having reviewed your answers, now ask yourself, does your gut tell you you should move? You might double check that by imagining that you had made the opposite choice. How will you feel? Now that you've gained some clarity unfettered by my thoughts, I'd like to end by sharing one. I have had clients move to a new locale to get a fresh start, only to find that their problems and their weaknesses traveled with them. Ask yourself, would it be wiser to make changes where you are rather than hope that a new locale will create a new and improved life. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.